Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you saw the title over here, right? So today we are going to learn about Angular's version 18 new feature, which is default ng content. So if you don't know, then let me tell you that Angular version 18 is going to be released very soon and it is expected to be released in this week. So there was one of the feature of version 18, which was default ng content and I found it to be pretty cool and I wanted it to share it with you guys. So before even starting about what is default ng content, so let me first give you an idea about what is ng content. So for example, if you see this, uh, this particular UI, what you see in front of me, like what, what I did, right? So I just took it from Amazon website. So this is how their widget component looks like. But if you see, right, uh, the title and this particular link is quite similar for us because what I have did right so for us it's always gonna be same because this is my widget component what I have created and this component is a child component which is used inside this widget okay so if I go over here right so I have I'm using these three widget over here which is app product widget where I'm passing the widget data okay and this widget data is nothing but this image and title okay so what you see over here which is dynamic right which is this image and this particular title all right so now what i want to do right i wanted to make this titles also dynamic so what most of you will do right i know like uh, i have seen this approach quite often people use so they what they will do right they will go here in the child component and they will create a title input as well so something like this and they will make it as input dot required and this is of type string okay let me just do all that and then that's what it is and now from here right what you will do you will start to pass title from here yes or no so this is what you will do so this is my first widget okay something like that you will do let me make this as a string okay or what i could have done i can directly data directly title and i can put as yeah second widget and for this one you could have done something like this third widget Okay, so if I save the changes, right? So now you can say, Shashi, yeah, this becomes dynamic. Yes or no? So let's go and check the output. If I go here, I can see, yes. Oh, it's still not changing. Let me just save the changes. Okay. Okay, it's not changing because I haven't applied it. So let me go and apply it over here. Okay, this is what I have missed. And this is going to be my title. So this is my title. And title is nothing but a signal now because I'm using input signal. Okay, if I save the changes and this is what it will be now. So this is dynamic first widget, second widget and third widget. Okay, same thing I can do it for this bottom as well because I don't want to keep it shop now. If you see over here, right? So you have to see dynamic links for di for the different different widgets. So you can do something similar for that as well. But do you think this is a good practice to do that? Like every time there is a requirement, you have to go here and add an extra input. And imagine this can grow like till here, like that big. Okay, so you don't want to do that. So what people will do, right? So as I told you, right, when you say you want to share a data from a parent component to a child component, what you follow, you usually follow input. But if I ask you if you want to share a template from a parent component to a child component, and then the ng contents comes in picture. Okay, so now let me show you how you can share a template from a parent to child. Okay, so what I can do, right, I can directly copy this particular H2. Let me copy this and let me remove this input. I don't need this anymore. Okay, and what I'll do, right, I'll go in this particular selector. Okay, so let me uh, use this particular child selector. All right, and inside this, right, what I can do, I can pass my content inside this selector, okay, as my h2 okay and this i can remove now i can say that okay let me go ahead and copy the same title from amazon so this is shop for your home essentials okay let's go here and put it here okay and save the changes and now in the product widget in the child what you need to do right you need to project so that's what the content projection comes in picture so i can remove this and what i can do right i can make this as ng content okay this is what ng content is if I save the changes right now, you see the magic. You see the magic here. Can you see? I am able to see shop for your home essentials. Okay. But can you see there is a problem, right? My other UI broke. Okay. So my other UI broke. So how can I fix this? Okay. So to fix this, right, there is a quite good hack what you can use. Okay. But before that, let me try to also tell you like, okay, how about this also making dynamic because here it is different right discover more in home so let me first uh, try to explain you that and then we'll come to default content okay i don't want to go directly there because now there can be a problem right so now you'll say shashi okay so i have one ng content 
how about i pass one more okay how about i pass one more so now i will be passing this shop now as well from the content okay so let me cut this okay and now i go here in the parent template and just below this h2 i will pass this h1 and the content for this i will change it to discover more in home okay so let me go and change it manually okay so this will be discover more in home okay something like that so the moment i do this right and let's see what changes i got so if i save all the changes if i go back can you see i'm getting shop from your home assistant and discover more in home but the thing is right i don't want this on the top i want it below here where it is so i don't need something similar like what amazon has so what i need to do right i will have to create selectors select i have to create slots basically so what you can do right so in the ng content you have to okay so you guys can say shashi maybe you have used only one ng content how about using two ng content and one on the top and one at the below so will that work let's take a look so if i go here can you see oh my god now my content come bottom in the bottom i wanted this h2 to be on the top so how can i do that so this can be fixed by using a slot which is select so we will create our selectors so the first select for this one will be a head and for this one i will be creating a select which is going to be my which is going to be a a foot okay a foot what are these selectors these are nothing but classes because i am using dot right i am not using hash i am using dot so this is my selector so what do you need to do right so wherever you create your h2 you have to specify that there is a head what i have added and same for the url which is your a tag you have to specify that this is my foot okay and that's the reason i am using dot h head and dot foot which is over here okay let me save the changes and let me go back on the ui can you see now now i am able to project it properly one at the top and one in the bottom okay so this is what the ng content is all about okay but one thing to note here that the moment if i don't provide so now here i am providing the particular data okay so so let me also provide it for the second one okay all right so this is what the second one look like and let me change the title and url for this so this is the customers most loved let me change it okay so this will be changed to explore more okay this will change to explore more Let's go and see the changes now. So if you go here now, can you see I'm able to see the customers most loved and explored here. But can you see one thing here? So now this one is broke because there is no content at the moment, and that's where this default ng content comes in picture. So now you must be thinking like, okay, which means we cannot like this. We cannot do anything for this, Shashi. Like there should be a way, right? A uh, uh, some workaround or some hacks which we can use to show the default content here. So let me tell you that yes, guys, there was. So let me talk about that. hack which people used uh, like were using not a hack but there was some work around which they were using it before this default ng content so let's go over here and let's go into your product widget where you have created the ng content so what you can do right you can wrap this inside a div okay and then what you can do you can create a template reference variable okay how can you do that by using make use of hash right you can say hash this is your head ref which you can create head ref not red okay and now what you will do right you will make use of add the rate if so what i will do right i'll say add the rate if over here and then i'll say head ref head ref dot there is something called as child notes if i'm not wrong it checks for the child notes so ha has child notes and that's it and this is what you will check now if it is not there you have to say not if it is not there then you have to show your default content so what you can say this is my default header all right so now that's what your the default header will look like okay this is some spelling issue let me fix that okay so that's what it is and same thing you have to do for the child as well so let for the footer as well so let me go and do that so let me paste it and this will change to hash this is my foot ref okay and this will again i'll change it to this foot ref dot has child node have not child node this is not i have what i have added already here and this will be nothing but your link okay so let me get that link from here so let me take this link and i will put it in the widget here as a default okay if i paste this and now this will change to default link all right so now this is how what the hack i was talking about where you can check 
for with this template ref and then you have to put if condition and do what not okay now let me just see if this is working or not all right so now i can see that i have this title which is all so these two i have provided but this one i have not provided so i can see a default header okay but there is something i think which is breaking because now it is showing me default link for all but because I have provided this and this link by my own. So let me see what is the issue. So let's go back here in the, okay. All right, so can you see the issue here? So because of this head and head, this has to be footer, right? So this should be foot, not head. Okay, so this selector should match which what you're providing from here. So this is your A, right? And A should have a foot, okay? So now let's save the changes and let's see if that works. Okay, let's go in the browser. Yes, I can see now this is dynamic, dynamic. And for this one, nothing provided. So this shows me the default link. And this is what the hack was, what I was talking about, what people were using to show the default ng content data. But now with Angular version 18, you don't need to do all that hacks. So let me tell you what you can do now. So you can remove all this if you don't need this div and href. Let me also remove it for this. No need of this anymore. And then let me format the code. Now what you can do, right? You can directly provide your default content inside this. Okay. So this is what I have did for this one. And let me also do it for the child one. Okay. So now this will be my, okay. Let me change this to default header. And let me change this to default link. Okay. And now I can save the changes. You might be saying, Shashi, this is all error. Why? Because of the Angular's language service. I'll tell you about this error. Don't worry. Can you see the compile is success? So let's go back and see if that still works. So can you see now I'm still able to see everything what it was and I don't have to use any hacks to do that. Okay. It was just a one liner like in your ng content with this head selector, you can directly pass your default content now. So for example, if user has forget to send like or uh, forget to add any template, so it will not break your UI layout. You can pass your default content, which it will directly go and project inside the ng content. Okay. And talking about this error, right? This error is because of if you go in the language service, Angular language service, because I'm using Angular version 18, which is in developer preview. Let me show the package.json. And here you can see that I'm making use of this developer preview, which is Angular version 18. Okay. Dot next. Okay. And I think Angular team will release the Angular version language service for version 18. So you won't find any, any of that issues. So if I disable this, right. And if I restart this, so can you see now there is no error. I think now it is uh, quite evident for you guys why the error was coming. It was because of that. Okay. And this is the way which you can make use of your default ng content and make things look good how it was without any hacks so now you know the power of ng content which really enables us to create truly reusable and flexible components so by leveraging this content projection right you can actually separate the component structure like from its dynamic content okay which helps you to make component more modular and which adapts to different use cases like for example if you want to change the color for this first one so that you can do that so but if you go with add thread input and all that so you have to pass different different colors and whatnot okay so that's why i always say prefer if you're making a reusable component then always consider to use ng content and now with this default ng content you can also handle such kind of use cases where you don't have any template to display but you have to show something there so that it should not break the layout of your widget all right, so that's all for today, folks. In the next video, we will deep dive into the another feature of Angular. Okay, and also we see some best practices about ng content if you want. I can make more dedicated video by actually creating some components and interactions or something like that. Okay, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and comment your thoughts about this particular feature. Until next time, see you guys. Bye-bye and keep learning.